Greetings, fellow traveler. Today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, usually I don't speak too much about myself, my personal life. But today felt like the day to share some things. Uh, as I tell you, I don't have any of this figured out. It's simply about going about the journey and understanding how I can create a better experience for myself along the way, and hopefully for others. Uh, my current situation and what brings me to even the space to where I'm sharing anything on the internet. I'm currently 39, going to be 40 this year. I'm a year and a half into a divorce proceeding that I initiated. I have joint custody of my daughter, which is amazing. Uh, I did not expect to be here. <laughs> At any point in my life, I did not expect to be here. Uh, but here I am, and amazingly enjoying it. Is my life ideal? Not at all. Not at all. But throughout these past few years of my life, the changes that I've made and the understandings that I found within myself, it has really helped me uh, see the world in a different light. I, for a majority of my life, uh, unknowingly, took on certain perceptions of the ideas that just didn't, it didn't fit with me. It didn't. And it took until I got into my thirties to step fully into that as best as I could. Uh, no matter what career I was in, there was always a lack of fulfillment. No matter what it was. I'm not saying that work can't give you fulfillment. I just didn't find that thing for myself. So in my early thirties, I made a choice uh, when I was in the middle of uh, getting out of the military. I made a choice. And I made that choice for myself. And what I didn't realize at the time was that one choice would change every relationship that I held near and dear. That choice was simply a career choice. The impact of my family to an extent as far as my household, but it was mainly about me. It was taking a risk on myself. And during this period, although I'm talking about career, spiritually, I was going through something. I was changing. I was trusting myself more. And the things that I would fight myself about, the things that I knew to be true, I would fight myself and take all others' reality. I trusted myself. But what I began to see over moments of reflection was that the times that I was right, I could have simply trusted myself and avoided many obstacles and heartaches. And in doing so, I said, okay, let's do something different. Trust in what you understand at the moment and act accordingly. And throughout a lot of trial and error, arguments, uh, falling outs, the whole nine, I began to see that the understanding that I had about myself or about the environment that I was in, it's always been validated. But I was looking for others to validate it for me instead of trusting in who I was and what I know, what I've experienced. So I'm sharing these things to say that in doing so for myself, I began to understand the power of simply trusting in self. That's it. Just trusting in yourself. Now in doing so, acting accordingly, yeah, things will change in your life. Some for the good, some for the seemingly not so good. That's okay though. Because many things outside of our control I'm sharing these things with you because going all the way up to even where I am now as far as my marriage, before I was said it was a failed marriage, but now I simply understand it was a nine-year experience. That's it. And through that experience, the many things that I did not want to confront in myself just mirrored back to me. Uh, I think some people say that the marriage is simply a mirror. 
But uh, you know, honestly, I don't regret anything. I got a beautiful daughter out of it. But more importantly, I trust myself. Meaning the same things that led me to the choice of, okay, I have to leave this marriage situation. Those things were always there. I didn't I didn't trust myself when I seen it. That's okay. And this is not me attempting to make her appear like a bad guy. Nah, because the things that were there when we met weren't just the issues with her, it was the issues with myself. The marriage mirrored that. So as I begin to change certain perspectives, or ideas, and understand myself more and trust myself more, that person was no longer a reflection of me. Now we have a, a dissonance because I'm moving a certain way, they're moving a certain way, and that's fine. Less about, but less about that, and more about the understanding for myself that in trusting myself, yes, I had to go into other. Uh, How can I say it? I had to go into a moment of just being with myself. That's it. That's the that's the best best way to describe that. I had to be by myself. By that I mean keeping distance from any and everybody. And just simply understanding who I believe myself to be. That's where I begin to see the limitations placed upon myself, by myself. In understanding the divine nature that is our true essence, like, y'all, we have so much more power than we know. Sometimes more than we want to be responsible or accountable for, and that's okay. That's no matter who or what you believe in. I don't care about none of that. The same principle applies. We can call it how we want. It's the all, it's the everything, and that's what we're part of. So in seeing how certain uh, ideas or beliefs played out in my life, I begin to change some of those ideas and beliefs. And in doing so, quicker than uh, I believed ever possible, many changes came about. Challenges still arise from those changes because it's the understanding of, okay, what am I learning? What can I take away from this? What does this reveal about myself? All these different occurrences and experiences that not happening to me, they happen to inform me. So being able to take on that perspective and understand how that has played out in my life and how it has given me a better understanding of my past as I once knew it. It allowed me to not be so caught up in expectations and simply go through the process, go with the flow. And in doing so, it allows me to see who I am, what I can change, what has changed me, if you will. But more importantly, it allowed me to discover what true peace is for me. This is from discovering meditation to discovering uh, that I like taking walks and just being in nature, uh, not being around people as much for myself. It's not my thing. And being okay with that. Not feeling like a bad person for that. Not letting others shame me into doing their will or their bidding. And that's from marriage to family, you know, friends, associates, strangers, and, and everybody. No, I found peace in myself. And I'm more open to the idea of that peace even being greater and greater as time goes on. I'm sharing this information with you today because I want anyone that hears this to remember that you're having a human experience just as I am. And it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to acknowledge ups and downs. It's okay. More importantly, it's okay to think more of yourself and understand that although some things come about, changes in relationships, uh, no matter what level of relationships, those things change. And when we can see that it's our choices that uh, 
allowed that change to enter our journey. At some point, you find peace with it. Some sooner than others. But you find your peace. And in that peace, nothing can replace that. No matter what that looks like for you. Once you find it, that's something near and dear you don't want to let go. I don't know if this is going to be helpful. Uh, I believe in my heart of hearts that it is, at least for one person. That's a good place to leave it for now. I don't know what you're doing today, but do it with the presence of heart. You got it. And always remember to smile.